this idea of position as a compromise point, you remember um, Blaylock has a something like this. He says the uh, sum of x sub i minus the median uh, is a minimum. I'm just really not that involved with school right now. You know, I don't, I don't like my classes this quarter. I don't feel that I've learned that much, you know, from the university as far as academic type work, you know. And the role that this will play uh, in determining your final grade will depend on the individual case. I would say that if you're... What I wanted to do was be a social worker and work with children. Uh, you know, like, my conception of it was just kind of idealistic. Uh, the next girl, please. You know, I got to UCLA and I started taking upper division social classes and, you know, like it finally hit me at the end of last year, you know, that I just hated sociology. Have you had jazz yet? <sighs> no. Yeah, no. You should take that. It's so good. Have you had it? Uh -uh. Oh, definitely take that class. It's really good. Like before, when I went to school, I went to school because I wanted to go to school and get a degree and get a nice, you know, a good job and all that. And now, I mean, you know, I don't care about the job at all. You can really, your mind can really, you know, be stable and stagnant when you're working in a nine-to-five job in an office with a bunch of old ladies. Were well, you richer than I am? Would you like to see my wallet? No. Well, I'm going to show you it anyway. Look at that. Empty. Oh, I got plenty of sand in there from where we played football last time. My dad got this free from somebody at an that's airport. That's why you're carrying it. Yeah. and umbrella or something? Yeah, that's my handy dandy emergency umbrella. I just like being on campus. It's, it's, you know, kind of a fun. You see your friends, you know, you, you fool around every day. You know, it's not like working. <laughs> Let's face it, it's a lot easier. 18, 20, 75. She graduated at 16. And we had a little bit of trouble between teenagers and I have a, a thing. So, uh, at the time, it wasn't working out, and in the meantime, I'd gotten divorced and remarried, so it wasn't all her fault. But uh, she left, uh, she moved out after high school, and she's made her own way ever since. You left yet? Oh, yes. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Linda. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, well, there's six of us in a three-bedroom house. There's never any privacy, really, but it's fun because we, we all get along pretty well. Who called? Oh, Denny called. What time did he call? Just about 15 minutes ago. Did he say he called back? Uh, Mary Penn answered the phone, I don't know. Oh. I just like to. You know, I can get away and be alone <laughs> if I really want to. But I like to come home and have people be there and, you know, have someone to talk to when you get up in the morning. So Bill took half and he didn't feel anything, so he started crying, you know, and I stayed up and rapped with Debbie till about four. So I'm really tired. I took an upper stay <laughs> to help me along my day at work. Half a one anyway. Very frustrating. <laughs> you never play your cards right. Debbie? Hi, this is Bunny. Are you coming home for dinner? Yeah. And there's only one thing. We need some butter. Okay, see, I... What? Yeah. Okay, but no, but Debbie, real butter, because I borrowed it from... I'll give you the money, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait till I, um, bring this stuff off. Or maybe some paprika. Oh, here, chili powder. Wait, I'm... You get back in here, it breaks the whip. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> when I first started college, I used to wear a dress to school every day with nylons, and I had matching scarves and things to go with it. And I used to set my hair every night. <laughs> and now I go to school, well, you know, I'm... At I wouldn't consider myself a total slob, but, you know, like, I, a lot of times I wear blue jeans. You go to class in jeans like that? Yes. Everybody oh, does. You're going a long ways. Are you kidding me?
got was 20. The one I got at Robinson's was 32 each. And by the green fangs and la cultura de dinero of the concrete vampiros, National Steel, Columbia Broadcasting, Rockstone, Purina, Firestone, Tire and Rubber, Hunt Food and Industries, Dow Chemicals. Like I do care about, you know, a lot of these social issues. And I really sincerely like, you know, things to be a lot different. But I don't know why, but last year I was a lot more into it than I am this year. You know, the reason that you become active in something like that is because you think that maybe you can change it. And, you know, right now I question that. You know, I really question it. And I, right now I think I'm more, maybe selfish, but I think I'm more interested, you know, in getting myself together. Bill, Bill, Bill. Hey, calm down. Okay. Okay, okay. Whoops. Well, I don't usually go out on too many dates. You know, not like, well, would you like to go out Saturday night type thing. <laughs> you know, I stopped doing that a while back. Usually, like, when I go out with people, you know, we get stoned, <laughs> which is always nice. Uh, they played bingo. And, uh, oh. I swear to God, I went to that terrible. birthday party, and they played bingo, and I blew my mind. Yes. You were there! I know, that's right. Oh, that's right. I was going to about that. that. Everyone is freezing outside. And the prizes. Did you see the prizes? The T.Y. special? <laughs> yeah. The bowl or whatever? <laughs> oh, I got a good hand. Wait, wait. What, four different kinds or what? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Bill, we can't all be great at everything. <laughs> Well, last year I was pretty close with Bill. In fact, I wasn't going out with anyone else, really. Hey, I just realized. He's not quite sure if he's going to get into med school next year. Cause he kind of screwed around his first couple of years. The present they got, like this coffee liqueur that you pour in here, and it's like a straw, and you and you and you suck. Are you going to use it for the hash pipe? Well, I don't know. It might freak her out. Then when I went to Europe and. I came back, I mean, things just really cooled off at the beginning of the year, so basically, you know, we go out and we have a good time, but there's nothing, you know, nothing definite about our relationship. He was the worst. <coughs> he didn't want to be seen in public with oh, me. Oh, wait, wait. It was, it wait, was wait, really deep. Did deep. I ever tell, tell you your face looked bad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. You did. It was dark out, but you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me right now to get in, you know, to really get into a guy. I think I'm kind of going through the phase, you know, where I'm just kind of seeing a lot of different people. I guess when I'm ready to get, or when I, when it happens, that I'm emotionally involved with something, you know, I guess I will be. I, you know, I want to have kids, I do. If you're really in love with someone, I think that you don't have to be married to live together and, and have kids, you know? Because if you're in love, you're going to stay together. Not a whole heck of a lot. It's working. Yep. Nope. I graduated, maybe. Well, it's, it's just a different thing. Like, or she gets down on the fact that I eat my picture with. She's down on the fact that I eat uppers. Well, oh, amphetamine. Okay. But she can get behind eating um, mescaline. Mescaline. <laughs> well, you know. Which blows my mind, you know. Well, mescaline. well, actually, mescaline is beautiful. You know, I really dug it. You know, I'm sure I'll do it again sometime. But, you know, to be with a person that you really dig and take it, it can be really nice. So I close my eyes when I'm going to sleep and I'm seeing flashes of colors. No. You're supposed to, colors are supposed to be better on, on psilocybin than this one. I don't know. All that shit really isn't that bad if you get, like, proper sleep and you're reading. And if you don't do it that often. That often. That's the whole thing, how much you do. <coughs> I haven't eaten in a long time. This isn't a bad. Do we need more noodles, do you think? Well, well, why don't you wait? How much sauce is going to well. sit through those, those little holes? Yeah, we need to sample my bread. I made two different kinds of garlic bread. 
What's what doggy and what's parmesan? <laughs> do it, baby, do it. Well, okay. <laughs> Marijuana? Well, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> it's marijuana, and all the further away she stays, the better. No, it's easy to get. And I think you have to be kind of stupid to really get busted, you know, unless a chance thing happens. But I don't usually walk down the street smoking. Um. Like, when I started smoking dope, I think my head was going through some changes anyway. I think that before, my, you know, I expected certain things in a person that they weren't there, you know, like I didn't think as much of them or something. But now, I think I'm beginning to take people for what they are a lot more. A lot of things, you know, I don't worry about as much. I don't hassle as much in my mind. Jim, that one like oh, if you ever experienced anything like that before? Really it was so far out where six of us were standing in a circle, and we just stood there with our fingertips touching, you know, each other like this. And the electricity, a current, just went right around the circle. Really? It was unbelievable. You really feel it. Like I only had two hits off that night. Oh, my hands are yeah, right. and I, right. but just two hits is just too much. <coughs> Inhale. You should not be so mean to that, that excellent hash. Oh. And do you know what I found in the box? What did you find? <laughs> no, no, God. That was not. What did you expect? <laughs> oh, at least one. <laughs> you knew I finished the off. I really Yeah, <laughs> it's really nice to be stoned. You know, music is great. When you're stoned. Food is great when you're stoned. Everything is great when you're stoned. <laughs> really is. <laughs> you ever put out a joint? Not usually. Hey, whoa, whoa, hold it, hold it. Get a general consensus before you start making rash, rash moves. <laughs> it's really weird, but when I get stoned, um, I can't think. You know, like I forget things. Like in the middle of the sentence, I'll forget what I'm talking about. I can communicate with people that are stoned on a different level sometimes, which is really a trip. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people can function really well on grass, but I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Hey, that's James Taylor, my man. That is him. Um. I mean, I just want to get away and do things, you know. I've been in Los Angeles for a long time, and I'm just getting tired of it. You know, I want to really get out and do different things. Maybe live in Europe for a while and bum around all over. You know, I don't care that much about having very much money, because you know, it doesn't cost that much to live, really.